try stinky tofu. I love it. So good. I think you'll like it. The second thing you need to visit the Mexican restaurant, check if they're authentic or not. Then you should wear um, fiskini and swim in Tindao Beach. I think I found a place. Thank you, Tofu. Cool. Hey, this is the place I found it. Thank you, Tofu. The second challenge complete. <laughs> so here I have it, the stinky tofu that challenge number two or three, I don't know, I lost count. I got the black one, which is different from the white one, so now I'll be eating it. And I'm in the middle of Taidong Road. Everyone's staring at me, but that's okay. But well, whatever. Here it is. Challenge number two, stinky tofu. It doesn't smell as bad as I thought it would. Yeah, it smells pretty normal. Looks pretty good. I had to use Google Translate to ask the person if this is the right place. But again, there was black and white. He said black was more delicious, so I got it. Let's give it a shot. Looks dangerous. Mm. It actually tastes pretty good. It's not as bad, it's actually delicious. It tastes like fish though. I'm gonna try it with whatever this is called. Too. It's pretty good. Again, I don't think it smells at all. Okay, here's the last one. Here it is. All finished. I really enjoyed this challenge. It was pretty delicious and everything. And everything was a lot more tastier than I thought. So I'm still in this road here. Uh, I don't even have enough time to try this food and come out. I'm by myself, so I can't speak Chinese at all. I have to translate. But overall, it's very delicious. Here's a box. Again, thank you for the challenge. It was a really interesting one. And I will see you in the next one. Right now, I gotta get home safe. Make sure I don't get lost again. So, see ya. So once again, we're here in another different place and we're looking for a Mexican restaurant. I mean, it might be this way. So we'll be going fourth floor. So third floor, we're going to the third floor. We might find it there. All right, so stay tuned.
Yo, Yandro, my friend, look what we found in Tsingdao. Woo! I just wanted to show you, we're like way in the corner of like some store. <laughs> you have to go way out of your way to try to find this place. But yeah, the rest of the malls will be here. We're like in a corner over here. There's almost, well, there's a flag for proof. And it's all here. Here's the proof for the tacos that we found them. And here. <laughs> and here's the menu in Chinese. Are you guys also. associated with the so Oh, it's here. What do you think? You got tacos. I love tacos. I got quesadilla. Salsa. Let's see how it tastes. Here it is. In Tsingdao. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Chicken. Ingredients are limited, so despite all that, it's still pretty good. How's it going? Um, this is your friend yeah. with Jimmy at Borderline Tacos. We're based in Qingdao. This is a Mexican restaurant. We've been here for maybe four months. And if you ever find yourself in Qingdao, come by, get some food, fill up your tummy, and come back again. Final challenge, and that is to wear one of these little face kinis at Qingdao Beach. As you can see, we're at the beach. There's the water. This is embarrassing, but whatever. And if I did this in any other place, it'd be too dangerous. But here, I think it's the norm. Even though I'm looking around and I don't see anyone else wearing it. But let's go for it. So here's what it looks like. This is where this little hole is where my eyes go. That I can see. I think I might have to take off my glasses, but we'll have to see how it goes. I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna walk from here to sand all the way until the end. Chips waiting mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just this mm -hmm. place is just like a waiting room. Yeah. Yeah. It's a hat. Mm -hmm. I'll keep it like this as a hat mm -hmm. for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. I look oh, so what? silly with this thing on my face. A lot of shells here, and this is painful walking. Oh, there's so many shells. It's painful. But, oh my god, I really hope I don't scare anyone wearing this thing. So I just walked past all of these shells. Wow. I legit do not see anyone else wearing this sort of thing. You guys said it was popular here. I don't know. I don't see a single person wearing it. Oh my god, I'm gonna look like such a fool. Okay, so I came to a more secluded part of the beach because there's too many people over there. So I'm gonna go this way where there's no one. Okay, here's the ocean. As you can see, it's right by my feet. Please. Just showing you proof that it is here. Oh my god, I really don't want to wear this, but I think people are trying to record me also. There's some person with their smartphone recording me. 
I don't, oh my god, this is too embarrassing. Okay, well, there's no point in trying to like and they make the inevitable loss longer, so I guess I'll just get it over with. Oh my, oh my god, please no. Look. There. It's on. Oh. This feels so weird. Okay, I'm gonna go into the water. Hello. Someone just ran across. Splashing water. I hope I don't splash my phone in the water. <laughs> Challenge number three complete. Wear a face kini and go to Qingdao Beach. A little, a little circle. Okay, we're back to normal. Yeah, we're back to normal. So that was it. Challenge number three complete. I did it for about 30 seconds more. That's okay. That's challenge complete. I'll keep the little mask as a souvenir and show it back home. Although I'll never wear it back home because that'll be bad. <laughs> but I might try it again here. But I legit do not see anyone else wearing this sort of thing. I'm surprised. Not even one person. So, yeah. Three challenges complete. Catch you later.